Well, YouTube, uh, at the Walmart and Beaver Creek, let's look at the, uh, let's look at the ap apocalypse buy-in here at Walmart. Here in Beaver Creek, Ohio, people are preparing for the apocalypse, the, the coronavirus apocalypse. My friend's with me today in a video. He's a regular subscriber and a friend of mine, so we're out here, uh, seeing how seeing how barren things are at their shelves but it looks like but it looks like they have restocked their milk some of it is two per household i don't know i, I don't see anything that says a limit their milk's a little bit higher right now myers was a dollar 35 last night theirs are a dollar 85 but they got the whole milk two percent and one percent looks like the eggs are pretty much the big yeah the big egg selection big egg boxes are pretty much all gone you got they must have got a new shipment of two percent milk i'm sure sometime today and ain't too much in the way of eggs left here there, there's still enough to get you by, but it's they're not going to last for much longer. The uh, still, well, there's plenty of orange juice and juice left. The coffee stuff left, but there's still plenty of cookies, plenty of plenty of Oreos. You got plenty of uh, Graham biscuits and that stuff left. Looks like plenty of cheese and yogurt. Plenty of cottage cheese. Plenty of cheese stuff in general. Plenty of lunch meat. Now there still is enough left, plenty of lunch meat left still, but not not a whole lot, but there's a little bit. It's it's all disappearing though. Looks like lunch meat's all disappearing. Hot dogs, lunch meat is all never seen it like this. Seen it like this, yeah. The the coronavirus a, 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 a apocalyptic fear. Is in full swing. Hey, well, hey, hey, let's actually get a look down here where the water is. This next aisle, see how much water has been ransacked. Actually, no, that's the next aisle. Or it's one of these aisles. The, uh, the apocalypse buy-in because of the coronavirus. There's plenty of pop left. So you ain't gonna run out of pop or beer. There's plenty of beer in the next aisle. What? Yeah. But there's still plenty of 12 packs and two liters. Still is some juice left, but most of the bottled water here, you still got some tea left. You, uh, all the bottled water is gone except the Nestle Pure and Nestle Splash and the Sam's Purified Water. That's all gone. <laughs> and then, I mean, that right there is not going to last for much longer. So, what last remaining few of the bottled water is all going to vanish probably in the next hour or two. But yeah, but back to this lunch meat stuff. Yeah, the a lot of this right here is pretty well done. Yeah, bratwurst. Yeah, they got some bratwurst here and some hot dogs, some oven roasted chicken breast, honey chopped ham. That's pretty much all gone. And right over here, this aisle. A little bit of smoked ham and black forest ham by Hillshire. <laughs> These coolers here are empty. 
right here. Let's take a look at the meat selection here. You still got plenty of shrimp. Yeah, still plenty of shrimp. So if you want to have shrimp, you they got to, they still got some fish. They got they got to they got to they got to tilapia left. Not much. You got plenty of fish though. Chicken is pretty much wiped out. You got a couple pork loins. Got a little bit of chicken livers. Yeah, the meat is pretty much wiped out. Yeah, turkey wings, turkey sausage. That's about all that's left here. Yeah, the meat is pretty much gone. Couple pork tenderloins. I don't think I've ever seen it like this. Yeah, a couple steaks, couple beef chuck riblets. Yeah, no hamburger at all. Couple chuck eye steaks. Hamburger is totally wiped out. There's something over here that's almost been wiped out over here. I don't know if this is a. Uh, Oh, though, it's the beans, kidney beans. Yeah, the canned goods are going scarce. Not that much in the way of beans, pork and beans, things like that. Stock up on some Roman noodles or some rice or something or some dry cereal. Let's see. The macaroni and cheese has been uh, has been ransacked here. There are there. There's not even that much rice. I'm surprised. All the all, all the rice is practically gone except this 10 minute success one. So to my Filipino uh, audience that I may have watching on the other side of the road, there's no rice even for you guys here right now. <laughs> He took up all the rice. All the rice is gone. This apocalypse buying. That's a given. That is totally a given. See what's like, down here. You're like my number one. Looks like this aisle's in pretty good shape. Some of the frozen stuff like potatoes are, looks like they wiped out a lot of the french fries. There still is some of those left. Right down here, show the bread. And that, actually it looks like a lot of the bread is uh, gone. There's plenty of bagels left. There's plenty of bagels, but uh, a lot of the bread here is Leaving so beef steak, seeded hearty rye. Yeah, most of the bread is gone. There's still a decent amount of hamburger buns. So I bet anybody could find any hamburger, they can have a cookout <laughs> tonight <laughs> or sometime. <laughs> Hawaiian sweet rolls don't look like anybody even eats those around here. <laughs> Still plenty of cookies and cakes though. We just had some of that at McDonald's a little bit ago, a McFlurry, the the Oreo flavor McFlurry, pretty good. The bananas look like they're running a little bit scarce right now, but the tomatoes look like they're Pretty much all been wiped out. The onions are even. The onions are even <laughs> scarce too. Plenty of grapefruit left. 
Look like some citrus fruit left still. So yeah, we're in full swing of this um, apocalyptic buy-in from the coronavirus. Not much in the way of apples here either, only a few bags and a few apples you can bag individually. Let's see here, celery and these uh, cucumbers, that's all wiped out. Still some iceberg lettuce and some bromine hearts. But wow, this is a uh, very eerie. So you might have to settle for some food that you otherwise wouldn't have to eat if you're expecting to feed yourself. Still plenty of this mixed fruit right here. That sweet corn right here, that probably is from I know they can grow it in Florida. That's probably from Florida because our, our, our corn is not yet in season. We haven't even planted our corn yet in uh, southwest Ohio. Well, in Ohio yet. It's a little early for that right now. But anyway, YouTube, that's it from the apocalypse. Buying of the coronavirus. My corona... <laughs> My Sharona, my Corona. <laughs> yeah, the apocalypse buying is in uh, full swing. It's. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to come back here tomorrow to do a follow-up video just to show how much more even wiped out it's going to be because, yeah, there ain't going to be nothing left. There ain't going to be no meat, no bread, or no milk, or any produce left. So yeah, so that's it from the ball bar to Beaver Creek, Ohio. The apocalypse buying is in full swing. My Corona!